In this video, I'll show you how to create a WordPress staging site using three different methods. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Okay, so this video will be based on this particular article here. So I'll leave a link in the description below and you can head over to aovup.com and then just go ahead and search for staging site. Okay, but as I said, this video is based on this article here. So we'll be going through the steps. So the first method is actually creating a staging site for your hosting. I'm going to do this method last I think because it will vary depending on which hosting you're using okay and then the second method will be creating a staging site using a WordPress plugin and we'll be using WP staging and then the second option is we'll manually create a staging site okay and I'll show you exactly how to do so let's jump into the first method which is using a plugin okay so I'm just going to head over to my WordPress site here and I've just navigated to plugins add new and I'm just going to search for WP staging okay Okay, and it's this particular plugin here. So I'm just going to activate it. Okay, so it's mentioned in a pro version. I'm just going to skip this for now. And then to create a stage inside, it's dead simple. We'll just click create stage inside here. Okay, and here if we want, we can specify the database table in which we want to copy. So let's say, for example, I've got this give donation plugin installed in this site. Let's say if I didn't want the give functionality on the staging site, then we can just uncheck these database table. Okay. But for the most part, you'll just leave everything as it is. And you'll copy over the files as well. Okay. And then we'll just click start cloning. Okay. So that took a bit of time to um, process, but I've just sped up the video. Okay, but here we can go ahead and access our stage inside. Okay, so if we click on this link here, here we've got the ability to go ahead and access our stage insight and then we can go ahead and either debug the site, maybe test a new product in which we want to um, add onto our site. Okay, so this is our first method. And now the second method is we'll go ahead and do it manually. But I guess the easiest would be to generate it via hosting. Okay, so let's head over to our hosting account and we're actually going to create our staging site manually so so personally i'd use this as a last resort i'd either use the plugin or ideally just do it via your hosting okay usually your hosting will have some kind of way for you to create a staging site so i'll just search their documentation or speak to them through live chat or the ticketing system or however they offer that support okay so i'm just going to log into my hosting account now Okay, and then I'm going to navigate to the C panel. Okay, so depending on your hosting plan, usually you'll be able to create a sub um, domain. But in this event, I guess due to the hosting plan I'm using on this um, particular account, I don't have the option to create a subdomain. So I'm going to have to improvise here. But the steps are essentially the same. So I guess in your case, you'll just click subdomain and then you'll just go ahead and add your subdomain. Okay, so typically if you imagine this said um, a subdomain, there'd usually be an option here to go ahead and add a, um, a subdomain. For example, test that whatever your domain is, that would be the subdomain. But as I said, I don't have that option. I'm going to actually create our staging site and a subfolder. And to do so, I'm just going to go ahead and navigate to WordPress here. Okay, and then we'll just click install. And then here where it says directory, We'll just go ahead and add a subdirectory for us to install this new WordPress site onto, okay? So in this case, I'm just going to put our website domain here and then slash test. So this is where our new staging site will be installed, okay? So that's fine. Again, here you can just, for the directory, you can just set it to whatever you want. But you want to make sure that you do add a subdirectory, otherwise it might override all the files on your main domain, okay? But again, whenever in doubt, just always make sure that you back up your um, website in the event of something going wrong, okay? So we'll just scroll down. I'm go we're going to skip past um, all of these and then we'll just click install. Okay, so it's been successfully installed. And if we click on this URL here, we should see our freshly installed WordPress site. Okay, so this is fine. But as I said, we want to create a staging site, whereas this is just a new WordPress website. Okay, so to turn it into a staging site, we just need to first copy the files from our um, main website and we need to replace the current database with the database of our existing website. Okay. But first, we're going to start with the files and to do so, we'll use the file manager. So I'm going to firstly navigate back over to our C panel here and then we'll click on file manager. 
Okay, we'll click on public HTML and we just want to copy this WP content folder, okay? But before we actually copy this file, first let's navigate over to our test um, file folder here. And I'm just going to delete this one because again, we're going to be using the one from our main website. So I've deleted this one from this subfolder. And then I'm just going to go ahead and copy the WP content from our main domain onto this test folder. Okay, so let's just click copy and then I'm just going to click slash and then whatever your directory is. Okay, so in my case, it's test two T's and then I'm just going to click copy files. Okay. Okay. So if we navigate over to test here, once it's load, we should see that new WP content folder. Okay. Okay. So here we can see the WP content um, folder, which is fine. This is what we've copied from our main website. Okay. And I just want to quickly check um, this WP config file. Okay. So I'm just checking a WP config file of the new WordPress installation, which we just installed because I need to make a note of the database name. Okay. Okay. So here we can see the database name is this WP 821. Okay. So I'm just going to close this off and then ideally we'll double check um, the database name of our main website. Okay, so now I'm just going to head over to PHP my admin. Okay, so I'll just navigate back to our cPanel here and now I'm going to click on PHP my admin. Okay, so now I'm just clicking on a database of our live website. Okay, and I just need to go ahead and make sure we export this. Okay, so I've just selected all the tables and now I'm going to click um, export. I'm going to select custom. Okay, and then we'll scroll down to here where it says compression. I'm going to select gzip. Okay, that's fine. And I'm going to disable foreign key checks. Okay, so now let's just scroll down and click export. So again, just for reference, this is the database of our main website. Okay, so that's downloaded fine. So now I'm going to go ahead and select the database of that new WordPress installation, which we just created. Okay. Which is this one here. So I'm going to select all the database table and then I'm actually going to delete them. Okay. So I'm going to select drop and then I'm just going to select yes. Okay. Right. So, so currently this database has no table, which is fine because now we're actually going to import um, the database table of our live website. Okay. So now let's go ahead and select import here. Then we're going to go ahead and choose the file, which we just downloaded, which is this one here. And then we're just going to go ahead and import it. Okay. Okay. So that's imported fine. So now we just need to go ahead and make sure that the database prefix actually matches. So WP F2, we just need to make sure it's the same on our new test site. Okay. So let's navigate back over to um, file manager actually. Okay, and then we'll click on our stage insight folder, which is this test um, subfolder here. And now we'll click on WP config. We'll click edit. Okay, and here we can see the database prefix for our old database table was WP XV. Okay, so we need to update this. Um, let's double check what it is. So it's WP F2. So we'll change this to WP F2. Okay, then we'll hit save changes. Okay, and now we just need to head back over to PHP my admin. So we'll quickly do this now. So currently I'm on the new test site database table. Okay, so we just need to search for WP options if it's here. Okay, here it is. Okay. Right. So for the site URL, you can see that it's still pointing to the live website and for the home URL it's still pointing to the live website. Okay, so we just need to update these. So we're just going to change it to say slash test, which is our new stage insight URL, right? And then we'll just hit save changes and just hit go. Okay. So we'll do the same for the home URL as well. We're going to put a slash at the end of it as well. So let's update this one to add a slash at the end. Okay. And now let's actually refresh this page and see if it works as it should. Okay, so currently it's working exactly as it should. Here everything's exactly the same as on our live site. Okay, if we click my account. Now it should load fine. Okay, so we can log in.
Okay, perfect. So everything's working exactly as it should. Okay. So this is method two and actually creating a staging site the manual way. So again, it's one of the longest way to do it. If you can use the WordPress plugin, or even if you can use the tools that your hosting company provide, that would be ideal. Okay. So again, now the third step is to actually utilize the tools provided by your hosting company. Okay. So this step will vary, um, dramatically depending on the host and company you're using. Currently I'm using Bluehost and they actually have a WordPress plugin which helps us with this. Okay, so let's navigate back to our live website. Okay, and now we'll just navigate to Bluehost and then we'll click stage in here. Okay, so this is our live site. Here it's telling us we don't have any staging site yet. So we can just click create staging, okay? Okay, so it's created a stage insight successfully. And to access it, we can just navigate to this URL here. Okay, and then we we'll just log in um, using our normal site details. Okay, once you're happy with the changes you've made in your um, stage insight, you can deploy it to your live website. And then obviously, once you're finished with everything, you can go ahead and delete the site. Okay. And that's a quick and simple way to create a stage inside. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you've got any questions, leave in the comment box below or reach out to support and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.